Hi, my name is Lindsay Reither. I'm a partner at WebShine, a Drupal SEO company in Aspen, Colorado, and this is a presentation on how to verify your site with the search engines Google, Yahoo, and Bing. So to begin, we have our Drupal 7 website. Um, we're going to actually use the WebShine website in this example so we can um, actually complete the verification process. I'm going to go ahead and go to Modules, and I'm going to find the Site Configuration Module. Or, sorry, site verification module. I'm going to go ahead and turn this module on by saving. And while that's saving, let's take the domain URL and go over to Google Webmaster Tools. This is my Google Webmaster Tools account. I am logged in with my Google account here, and I'm going to add the first site to this address. I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. And Google offers me several verification methods. I can download a verification file, or I can select an alternate method, including adding a meta tag to the site's homepage, using my Google Analytics account, if I'm using the latest Google Analytics script, I'm, I'm an admin on that account, or adding a DNS record. Using my Google Analytics account is often the simplest option if I already have used this email address as an admin on that account. But in this case, that's not an option, and so I'm going to go ahead and use the recommended method of downloading an HTML verification file. I tend to prefer this over adding a meta tag to my home page, um, just because the meta tag in my home page is one more line of code for the search engines to crawl through when they're trying to understand that, that home page. I'm going to download the verification file and just simply save it, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same in Bing and Yahoo's Webmaster Tools. I like to use the same email account whenever possible, just for ease of passing that login along to a client um, or, or any other options. I'm going to go ahead and add a site. Bing Webmaster Tools uses the same verification file for every website within a web developer. So if you've already verified one website, this Bing authentication file is going to be the same, so you can just go ahead and use it. But we've saved that as well. And now I'm going to go ahead and sign into Yahoo. I like to sign in with my Google account just to keep that simple. And I'll select add to my add my site. Upload verification file using that same method on all three. Hit save file. And now that I have my verification file saved, I'm going to go ahead and add verifications via the site verification module. I'll click on add verification. We'll start with Bing. I'm going to browse and upload an existing file, open, and then I'll hit save. I'm going to go ahead and do this process for Google and Yahoo as well, and then we'll be ready to verify. My verification files have been uploaded via the Drupal 7 module, and now I'm going to return and verify my sites. First I have to Go back and find the verification for Google. Now uh, let's skip over to Bing. We'll hit verify. And we're in. The next step in this process would be to go ahead and add an XML sitemap. And if your XML sitemap has already been created, you can go and click on crawl within Bing Webmaster Tools, sitemaps, add feed, and my XML sitemap is already there. If I go to this, I'm going to go ahead and go to status, upload verification file ready to authenticate since I've already downloaded it, and I've been verified. Now I can go ahead and submit a feed, and this time I'll type in XML sitemap, and it's complete. For Google, for some reason, they've lost my 
original verification, so I'm going to go ahead and try this again. We'll see if the verification file they provided was the same. If not, we'll have to go up and re-verify. Verification was successful. Um, we can go back and view my list of sites. And again, I can go in and add an XML sitemap to my Google verification. This concludes this screencast.